Now, the small group of UK startups with unicorn status, that's a valuation of a billion dollars or more, now has a new member. Motorway, the online used car marketplace, became the 37th company to achieve that status after securing a $190 million funding round. It's quite the feat for a company that was launched only four years ago. Well, joining me now is the chief executive of Motorway, Tom Levis. Tom, very good morning to you. What uh, will be the uh, proceeds? How will you sp be spending them? Uh, well, look, we've grown really, really quickly over the past four years. Um, and this really, this funding round really underlines how much room there still is to grow within the uh, the used car market. We've seen unprecedented change within this space in the last couple of years as people move from being an offline industry to, to an online industry. And Motorway is really proud to be leading that charge. You only uh, completed a funding round in June this year. Why, why the need to go again so soon? Again, we've grown extremely quickly since that funding round. I think we spoke, Ian, back in June. Uh, we've doubled since then, um, and we're continuing to grow extremely quickly. And uh, we want to make sure that we're able to deliver this service to as many people as possible. We help um, consumers to sell their car for the most money possible by connecting them with a, a large network of, of uh, car dealers which, which buy those cars in online auctions. Um, and we're doing about 8,000 cars a month now, but this is still only about 1% of cars sold in the UK. So huge amount of opportunity ahead. Clearly, second-hand car prices are having a bit of a moment right now. For how long do you see that lasting? It has been a really unusual year. Um, obviously, the, there is a, a huge constraint in the new car market with the global chip shortage, and that's meant a real increase in demand across the used market and prices have, have grown, in fact, by about 30% over the last 12 months. Um, and so that's definitely an unusual uh, set of uh, conditions, but also the, the bigger trend is actually the move from offline transactions to online transactions. Um, and this, this is both consumers changing the way that they sell their cars, but also car dealers who are changing the way that they acquire stock. Um, so lots of change in the market and again, that creates opportunities for new winners to emerge. What are the uh, impediments to uh, completing a transaction smoothly? I mean, I'll, I'll give you an example. I mean, I've, I've actually just sold my car through Motor. I had, had to sell it thanks to Sadiq Khan's uh, extension of the ultra-low emission zone. The biggest problem we had was getting someone to come and pick it up. It uh, took quite a while to, for, for someone to be available to do that. Yeah, we had uh, things got a little bit delayed by the fuel crisis in October. I'm not sure if that's when... Uh, when when you uh, sold your car, but yes, I think you know this is uh, the the challenge we have is to make sure that we can get everyone to sell their car really rapidly and do so within 24 hours, and that is how the bulk of our of our sales work. So uh, we're focusing a lot of this funding on just building out the infrastructure to be able to deliver the service at scale to more and more people. And what's on uh, the the stocks in terms of an international expansion, which I know you, you're thinking about. Yeah, I mean, right now we're, we're still very much focused on the UK. Um, it's worth underlining the UK market alone is worth 60 billion, um, with 8 million cars sold a year. So while we're growing really quickly, there's still a huge amount of opportunity to, um, to deliver this better service to more people here in the UK. I mean, who, who do you see as your main competition, Tom? I mean, is it the likes of, of Carzu and Cinch and some of these sort of guys, or, or is it the established motor dealers or, or someone like Autotrader, in fact? I think from a consumer point of view, what we're, what we're doing is really competing against ingrained behaviours of how people used to sell their cars. And if you think about in the pre-online pre world, people would really just, just tend to accept what they were given or have to go through a lot of hassle by trying to sell their car privately. And so we're trying to say to people that there is a new way to sell your car for a £1,000 more by just using your phone and getting it collected from home. And so it's really about behaviour change that we're fighting rather than any particular, uh, particular competitor. Now, obviously, when uh, someone sells their car on the platform, you put out uh, the details to the dealers and they then uh, bid how much they're prepared to pay for it. I mean, how do you stop dealers from getting together and gaming the system? Well, ultimately, it's a, very, um, it, it's a system where no one can see what anyone else is bidding. Um, and the highest bid is only revealed at the end of the auction. And so this stops there being any kind of gaming within the, uh, within the network. But also, you know, our dealers, we have over 4,000 car dealers now using the platform. Um, so it's become a very uh, important part of their day. Um, and, you know, one of the ways that they're, they're, one of the best ways that they're acquiring stock. 
And how much do they pay you per, per transaction, or is that a trade secret? Yeah, we don't discuss that, but we, we, I can say that we charge a variable fee for the, to the dealer for every car that they buy. And this allows us to make the process entirely free for consumers selling their car. And in terms of, uh, I, me I mentioned the uh, ULES extension in London. Presumably that was quite a big driver for business for you in recent weeks. Uh, I think it has certainly. It's, it's again, it's added added more um, activity into the marketplace. But that's obviously only in certain cities, and there's still a very buoyant market for for kind of non ULES compliant cars outside of London. I think one of the the most interesting things that ULES has done is to drive even more interest into the EV market, um, and the fuel crisis is another underliner for that. Um, and so this is one of the biggest trends we're seeing on motorways: both um, more and more people selling. EVs uh, and more and more dealers getting on board with EVs and focusing on that part of the market. So that's going to be a really exciting part of the next 12 months. All right, Tom, we have to leave you there. Good to talk to you again this morning. Hope to see you again before too long. Thank you. Thanks, Ian.